Village on the Isle in Venice is saying goodbye to its longtime CEO. But Tom Kelly is no ordinary executive. He also doubles as the chef. SNN's Grant Boxleitner joins us live in the newsroom with more on his legacy. Grant. John, Village on the Isle and Meals on Wheels have become a strong partnership under Kelly's watch. Village on the Isle CEO oh, okay. Tom Kelly is saying farewell to a job he's held for 15 years. Between the Meals on Wheels, our residents and staff who eat here and guests, our kitchen prepares just over 27,000 meals a month. The retirement community is a longtime partner with Meals on Wheels, and Kelly oversaw a $1.8 million kitchen upgrade to make food preparation more efficient. When we started together 15 years ago, we did barely 100 meal daily Meals on Wheels. We're now averaging over 200 meals. And the residents will tell you Kelly knows plenty about cooking. Uh, I have been through chef school. It's a technical school for a couple of years, plus 40 years experience. On Wednesday, he These prepared a final trays. entree. Real maple syrup, 30 bucks a gallon. That's how real it is. Belgian waffles with all the toppings. Oh, okay. And I do it because it's fun. I love doing it. And did show their appreciation for Kelly's nearly 15 years of work here. The board and the residents decided to name this place right here, Kelly's Cafe. Actually noted for being able to speak off the cuff without any prep. Truly, I was speechless. Joel Anderson is taking over as Village of the Isle CEO. 15 years of very dedicated, hard work here and have got, has gotten a lot of things accomplished. But what's so great about that is he's given such a great foundation for me to be able to begin my legacy. I'd have been able to play a small part in the development of this facility so that not only meets the needs of today's residents, but will meet the needs of tomorrow's residents. I just found the syrup. I didn't know we had it. And you may have seen in the piece, Kelly was wearing an autographed chef's hat and apron. Those signatures came from the residents. John. Well, what are Kelly's plans now? Well, he lives nearby and he hopes to return someday to, yes, do a little more cooking. He cer certainly seemed like he enjoyed what he was doing. Thanks, Grant.